Cameron Diaz is an American actress. Known for her work in both comedy and drama, her films have grossed over $3 billion in the U.S. box office. Diaz established herself as a sex symbol and one of Hollywood's most bankable stars, and in 2013 she was named the highest paid actress over 40. Born, August 30, 1972, San Diego, California, United States. Spouse, Benji Madden. Children, 2. Height, 1.74 meters. Parents, Emilio Diaz, Billy Early. Siblings, Shimen Diaz. Cameron Diaz net worth $140 million. Early life and education. Cameron Michelle Diaz was born August 30, 1972, in San Diego, California, to Billy, an import-slash-export agent, and Emilio Diaz, a foreman of the California oil company Unocal. Diaz has an elder sister, Shimen. Her father's family is Cuban, and Diaz's ancestors had originally moved from Spain to Cuba. Later, they settled in Ybor City, Tampa, Florida, before moving to the Los Angeles area, where her father was born. Her mother has predominantly English and German ancestry. Diaz was raised in Long Beach and attended Los Cerritos Elementary School, and then Long Beach Polytechnic High School, where she was a schoolmate of Snoop Dogg. She recalled her upbringing as frugal, stating, I had amazing parents, they were awesome. We weren't privileged, very much the opposite. My family would collect cans to turn in for extra money, because $20 meant something to us. But we were very happy. While still attending high school, Diaz signed a modeling contract with Elite Model Management at age 16 and appeared in advertisements for Calvin Klein and Levi's. The following year, at age 17, she was featured on the cover of the July 1990 issue of Seventeen magazine. Diaz also modeled for two to three months in Australia and shot a commercial for Coca-Cola in Sydney in 1991. Career 1994-1998, Early Films and Rise to Fame At the age of 21, Diaz auditioned for The Mask, playing a jazz singer named Tina Carlisle, based on the recommendation of an agent for Elite, who met the film's producers while they were searching for the lead actress. Having no previous acting experience, she started acting lessons after being cast. The Mask became one of the top 10 highest-grossing films of 1994 and launched Diaz as a sex symbol. During this period, Diaz dated video producer Carlos de la Torre. Diaz subsequently starred in the independent black comedy The Last Supper, playing one of several liberal graduate students who invite a group of extremist conservatives to a dinner in an attempt to murder them. Roger Ebert deemed the film a brave effort in a timid time, a Swiftian attempt to slap us all in the face and get us to admit that our own freedoms depend precisely on those of our neighbors, our opponents and, yes, our enemies. She then had a lead role as an ex-stripper in the dramatic comedy Feeling Minnesota, in which she co-starred opposite Keanu Reeves, Vincent D'Onofrio, and Courtney Love. Emmanuel Levy of Variety noted, sadly, with the notable exception of the attractive Diaz, who's well cast as the sexual aggressor and romantic manipulator, there are no exciting performances in the film. The same year, she was cast opposite Jennifer Aniston in the Edward Burns-directed comedy She's the One, followed by a starring role in Head Above Water, a crime comedy in which she played an unfaithful wife implicated in her ex-lover's murder. She was scheduled to perform in the film Mortal Kombat, but had to resign after breaking her hand while training for the role. Besides a starring part in the little scene A Life Less Ordinary, Diaz returned to mainstream in 1997 with the romantic comedy My Best Friend's Wedding. In it, she starred opposite Julia Roberts, playing the wealthy fiancé of a sportswriter who is the longtime friend of Roberts' character. The film was a global box office hit and is considered one of the best romantic comedy films of all time. In 1998, Diaz starred in There's Something About Mary, as the titular role of a woman living in Miami having several men vying for her affections. It was remarked in the Austin Chronicle, as the Mary at the center of it all, Diaz certainly exudes that irresistible something expressed in the title. In films such as My Best Friend's Wedding and A Life Less Ordinary, Diaz has shown herself to be a good comic sport who is game for just about anything. Here, it's no stretch to understand why, at the end of the movie, some half-dozen suitors have converged in her living room to throw themselves at her feet. The sleeper hit was the highest-grossing comedy of 1998 in North America as well as the fourth-highest-grossing film of the year. It made $176 million U.S. dollars in the United States and $369 million U.S. dollars worldwide. She was nominated for a Golden Globe Award in the category of Best Actress, Musical or Comedy. Diaz also starred in the critically panned comedy Very Bad Things. Personal Life Relationships and Family 
From 1990 to 1994, Diaz cohabited with video producer Carlos de la Torre, whom she met in Japan while filming an L.A. Gear ad. From January 1996 to September 1998, Diaz dated her There's Something About Mary co-star Matt Dillon. She was unofficially engaged to actor-slash-singer Jared Leto between 1999 and 2003. From April 2003 to December 2006, she dated singer Justin Timberlake. From May 2010 to September 2011, Diaz dated former New York Yankees player Alex Rodriguez. Diaz married musician Benji Madden at her home in Beverly Hills, California, on January 5, 2015, in a Jewish ceremony. The couple had been introduced 10 months earlier by her close friend Nicole Ritchie who is married to Madden's twin brother Joel. In December 2019, the couple welcomed their first child via surrogate pregnancy, a daughter. In March 2024, it was announced that the couple had welcomed their second child, a son.